Hey guys, the first step towards color correcting your skin tone is to examine the skin. And for this image, you can see that the magenta is too much. To confirm this statement, we are going to take the eyedropper tool and then we are going to come and click on the info panel, bring up the info tab, and then use the eyedropper tool to sample areas. So if you sample a particular area, you can see the exact color value for the areas on the info tab. So on the info tab, you can see the C is for cyan, the M is for magenta, the Y is for yellow, and the K is for the black value. So you can see that in this skin tone, the magenta value is very high. Look at the magenta value M right here. So if you sample on the skin tone, this is the value I will see. You can see that the magenta value is as high as 63. 65 in some areas so you can see that there's too much magenta in the skin and if you google the correct magenta value for skin tone you can see that a fair skin caucasian adult could be as low as 20 magenta 25 yellow a brown caucasian could be as high as 45 magenta so it means that this skin tone having a magenta value of up to 60 70 has too much magenta in it so we have to reduce the magenta value in the skin tone to color correct the skin tone so before we go on to color correct the skin tone if you zoom onto the face of this model you can see there are some pimples and acne on the face so we take our we are going to take our spot healing brush too and gradually remove the pimples any obvious pimples that is on the face you use the spot healing brush tool to remove such pimples. The next thing we are going to do, we are going to use the auto face FS action to retouch the image. So while on the auto face FS action, we click on the play button and voila, it automatically gets the skin retouched for us. You can see here was the before and here is the after. Here was the before and here is the after. This is how it affects the skin. It retouch the skin with just one click. If you want a more impactful effect of the retouching, you can flatten the image and click on the auto face effects action twice. For the second time, it's going to even smoothen the image furthermore. You can see how smooth it now renders our image. It renders it very smooth. This is obviously too much and it's now making the skin to look too smooth so i'm going to reduce the opacity all the way to 20 and then i can flatten the image to get this retouched look on our model we just use one click of auto face effects to do this it's going to fasten your retouching the link to get the action is in the description if you are finding it difficult to get you can send me a dm at Slammy Photography on Instagram or Slammy Photography at gmail.com. You can send me a mail on Gmail so you can discuss how you can easily get the auto face FS action. It's just one dollar. So, with just one dollar contribution to the channel, you can get the auto face FS action that is going to automatically retouch your skin with just one click. So, after applying the auto face FX action to color correct our skin, we are going to duplicate the background. Rename this color correct. So since there's too much magenta in the skin, we are going to go to our filter. I'm going to come to camera raw filter. And in the camera raw filter in the tint, we can now add green to the tint to remove the magenta. And our skin is not looking orange enough. To add more orange, we are going to add temperature. I'm going to increase the temperature like this. So we make adjustment. To the temperature and the tint increase the temperature we we'll reduce the tint value to get the skin tone see the before see the after we adjust the temperature and the tint you can see how we've taken this skin tone from looking like this to looking like this you can see the result is amazing and we are sure of increasing the green in the tint because we've already examined it in photoshop and see and we've seen that the magenta value is too much. So we can see exactly how the tint works. It determines how green or purple. Purple actually is magenta. 
so it determines how green or purple the colors appear in your photo move left if colors are too purple and move right if colors are too green that's exactly what we did you can also add vibrance if you want to saturate your image if you increase the vibrance you can see that the color in the image is now more saturated without destroying the skin tone if you actually use the saturation it's going to destroy the skin tone so instead we use the vibrance to boost the color of our skin tone and you can see like how beautiful the skin tone is now looking this is a very simple and easy way to color correct your skin tone i hope this is helpful if you find this helpful please at this point you like this video so that you can help in growing the channel so after correcting the skin tone we can now add a color lookup table and we can now color grade using a color lookup that is the fastest way to color grade using a color lookup and after applying this color grading you can reduce the opacity you can take your brush make sure the foreground is black and remove the color grading from any area of the skin and you do not want it to affect like let's see the lips you can try different lots out to see the one that you like the effect most so these are the light skin tone lots you are trying if you need a free lot you can check the link in the description there's a link to get free skin tone lots on the website link is in the description so once you get the skin tone lot you are okay with you can now go on to save your image there are still other things we can do to this image to enhance it we can still go on to dodge and burn add shine we can still go on to stylize the color grading but all those are beyond the scope of this tutorial because this tutorial is just limited to color correcting and simple color grading which we've just done if you need more tutorials on how to add shine to your skin how to dodge and burn you can check the channel for such tutorials we have more in-depth tutorials on color grading we have more in-depth tutorials on skin retouching and also on sharpening adding texture improving skin quality and all that you can check the channel for such tutorials this method is going to work for all skin tone you just have to examine the skin tone see the color that is in excess and now go on to reduce those colors i'll be putting out more color correction tutorials so that we can examine different skin tone and color correct them so subscribe to this channel so that when these tutorials come out you are going to watch them and they are going to be very useful to you so please go on to like the video leave a fire emoji in the comment section if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to this channel for more helpful tips tricks and photography tutorials happy to be part of your creative journey see you in another amazing tutorial